Coming up in this video, I've got five uh, super fun, super tasty uh, whiskey based cocktails. Whiskey with an E, uh, bourbon, American whiskey. Uh, these will kind of go Canadian or Irish as well, but perhaps not Scotch. So if you want five super good, super tasty whiskey recipes, stay tuned. Hey Trix fans, I am Steve the Barman and I'm hoping these videos help you drink, serve and enjoy your favourite drinks even more. That's what I'm all about. This video, we're going whiskey. Uh, I actually am on a sort of whiskey sort of disco, not a massive one, but a whiskey discovery uh, sort of journey. I've never been a huge whiskey fan throughout my whole life. I really don't like scotch. I can't handle scotches. I've tried a few of them. Um, Irish, I'm coming towards them, but American uh, sort of bourbons, they are kind of, not my favorites, but they're the ones I can handle most. So I've gone American whiskey, uh, and there's no rhyme or reason to this whiskey. This is Jim Bean Black Extra Aged Bourbon. As I say, I'm just buying a different uh, bourbon every single time uh, just to sort of try them. So this is what my, I've currently got. So the five cocktails I've got for you, I've got a chocolate old fashioned, I've got a bourbon bad boy, I've got a Bouvardier, uh, I've got Bonoffi Old Fashioned, and then the final one is Not So Old Fashioned. So all five uh, drinks are kind of short drinks, um, but there's a couple of really fun ones in there. So the first one we are gonna do is the Chocolate Old Fashioned. Now three of these cocktails are gonna be very similar in the way they're made. They're all going mixing glasses, uh, old fashioned style. But the first one, uh, rocking out, I've got my Jim Beam glass. I've got a box of six for them, but I can't find them. So I should have made all six in my Jim Beam, or all five in Jim Beam, but I've only got, I can only find one at the moment. So um, that's what it's gonna get served in. Uh, so the first first thing we need to do and old fashions i always use sugar syrups okay so the way i show you how to make old fashions are not a two-part sort of sugar and um, uh, dissolve all the sugar granules and things like that i'm all about syrups because i'm an event bartender and speed so all the ingredients go in one we're going 50 ml of your bourbon in your uh, mixing glass i'm going to get 10 ml of uh, brown sugar or demerara sugar whatever you want you can make it yourself at home easy peasy um but i've just got bought one here so 10 ml of um brown sugar syrup there uh, and then just to bring it up to the 15 ml i'm going vanilla five ml of vanilla uh, sugar okay so we've got lovely that now you're thinking where's the chocolate coming from the chocolate is coming up this shoulder because uh, old fashions have bitters in them so let's crack out the chocolate bitters i'm going three dashes of three brothers chocolate bitters one two three three dashes so all we need to do now is ice that up and then we're just going to stir that down and old fashions are all about the dilution so a few ice cubes give it a good stir and then, and then serve it up Right then, so I've been stirring this for a couple of minutes. I've added a bit more ice uh, just to give it that dilution. Mm. That, that is lovely. Um, that's pretty amazing, actually. Um, now you could, if you're gonna serve this up professionally in a bar, uh, fresh ice in there, strain. But as it's just me, I'm just gonna pour that in there. Lovely, jubbly. And then just to garnish, I, I always do my sort of old fashioned whiskey cocktails all the same. Let's get rid of that one. And I'm just going a dehydrated orange in there as well. But you could, you could be creative, but that is uh, my chocolate old fashioned. Oh, that is proper lush. Right then, so uh, whiskey cocktail number two, we're going for the bourbon bad boy. Uh, this one's actually gonna be shaken, all right? So little twist on an old fashioned, but we're gonna be shaken, and there's a double meaning to the bourbon as well. So four ingredients in this one, I'm going 35 ml of my uh, American whiskey, my bourbon. 
All right. And there's a reason I called it Bourbon Bad Boy and not Bourbon Bad Boy. All become revealed. So 35 mil of uh, your bourbon, uh, 15 mil of uh, this Serrano Amaretto, 15 mil. And then I've got a very cheeky liqueur coming up for ingredient number three. Upper Falls in well, is Welsh in the UK, chocolate and uh, sorry, coffee and dark chocolate liqueur. Love a bit of that. 15 mil. All right, one at five. That's in there. Now the final ingredient is good old half and half. Um, UK, we don't really talk about half and half too much in the UK. Um, just e equal amounts of cream and milk. Uh, I'm not actually sure what the official reason behind that is. I've got my own two theories on that. Firstly, um, milk's obviously too thin, but cream's a bit too thick for a lot of people. So we kind of make it out. That's what I believe. But it wouldn't surprise me if actually, because milk's quite cheap and cream's quite expensive, it wouldn't actually surprise me if, if it was a cost thing. Um, so I don't know, I really don't know. Um, but whatever, half and half, equal amounts of milk, equal amounts of cream, 50 mil. All right, now we're just gonna add this in, um, in there, then we're gonna ice this up and give it a good shake. So tin goes on, and then we're just gonna shake it for a good 12 seconds. Then when you're happy, that's nicely chilled down. Get rid of that and just to serve it up obviously in a rocks glass as well again no need for fresh ice just pour it straight in there that should be perfect and then to garnish don't know whether you can see it on camera there actually garnish chalky bourbon how's about that give it it's actually sorry let's give it a dunk mm. oh hello that is really good. Wow. The, it's quite a strong one, but the amaretto, uh, the sort of almond flavors, and that liqueur, that coffee and chocolate, really come well with the whiskey now. That's actually really good. Hadn't actually tried that one. Uh, it's not one of mine. I found it, I forget where I found it now. But yeah, but I like the bourbon anyway. Let's keep that in there. There we go. Right then, cocktail number three. We're going back to the mixing glass. And uh, this cocktail is quite an old one. Um, I don't know who invented it, completely forgotten, but I know it was invented mid-20s. Uh, flip on the um, Negroni. Uh, so it's a whiskey-based Negroni. And it was invented in the New York bar in Paris. All right. Uh, and again, this one will be adjust to the ratios, um, not the ratio, but adjust the amounts to the size of your glass. OK, I'm going to serve it in a nice sort of tumbler like that. So I am going uh, 35 mil of bourbon. OK, 35 mil of bourbon. Uh, and then I am going 25 mil of Campari. 25. And then if you know what the Negroni is, obviously, as I say, it's a whiskey base, so there's no gin. Um, so the final ingredient is your Martini Rosso or Rosso Vermouth. And again, 25 mil. Now, sort of similar to the old fashioned, we are just going to add a bit of ice and then stir it down until you get that dilution. Right, so I've been stirring this down for a couple of minutes. Again, if you were... Oh, that's really good. If you were going to serve this up professionally in a bar, uh, especially if you've got a glass like that, a nice round um, ice cube in there would have worked a treat, or a nice big chunky square one. Uh, again, because it's just me at home, I'm just going to pour that straight in there. There we go. That'll do for me at home. But I say, if you're in a bar, you know, present it really lovely. Um, but for me, to be fair, I don't think there's actually anything wrong with that. I'd quite happily serve that up uh, on an event or something like that. Garnish with dehydrated orange. And that is a Boulevardier. Very very potent this one actually 
it's complete alcohol in there. And for me, I do love a Negroni, and um, I made a Jaffa Cake Negroni um, a few weeks ago now on this channel, so Jaffa Cake uh, Gin, and I really did like that. For me, actually, um, I actually quite, as opposed to a normal plain Negroni, it's a normal gin, um, I actually think I do prefer the bourbon. Now, I, as I say, I'm on a complete new discovery journey with bourbon. I don't know, I would imagine something, the better the bourbon, uh, the better that actually might taste. But there's nothing wrong with that. I'm quite happy. It's a lovely sort of aperitif before dinner, probably after dinner as well. Nothing wrong with that, that's tasty. Right then, cocktail number four. We are back to shaking uh, this one. This one is my Banoffee Old Fashioned. So, uh, as I say, Old Fashioned is traditionally stirred, but Banoffee Old Fashioned, let's give it a shake. So, we are going at 55 zero mil of your bourbon. 50 mil in your shaker. Uh, it's gonna get served up in, let's go that one this time. Uh, it's another sort of highball glass, uh, rocks glass there. So 50 ml of your bourbon. The next ingredient is um, white kind of chocolate or cacao blanc, uh, sort of a chocolate liqueur, 1515. There we go, 15 ml, so that's our chocolate. Chocolate notes coming through there. Banoffee, banana time now. Banana puree, ODK's banana puree. I just want 25 mil, all right? Now you could, I'm, I'm shaking this because of this, but uh, you could stir it if you really wanted to. But 25 mil, banana puree. Lovely. Now we've got, obviously that's sort of sugar based as well. So that's our sugar for our old fashioned. Um, but bitter wise, Again, play about with the bitters. You could go chocolate bitters. Oh, should we do that? Banoffee, chocolate. No, we've got chocolate. Let's go normal Angostura bitters. And I'm just going one dash for me. There we go. Perfect. Now, I'm just going to uh, ice that up. There we go. Just ice that up. Now, I'm just going to shake this down about 12 seconds. Get all that banana puree blended in. Right, and when you are happy, that's all nicely shaken together. Then again, you're gonna serve out properly fresh ice, but oh, the banana, the banana, oh, the banana notes in there with the chocolate. That, oh, that is delicious. Bit of fresh ice. And then you could go crazy with that. You could go, could go banana. You could go anything you wanted like that. Uh, but why break a habit of a lifetime? Dehydrated orange. Banoffee, old fashioned. Oh, I'll tell you what. Oh. Mm. That is so tasty. Oh, these are really good. Right then, the fifth and final cocktail. We're going not so old fashioned. Uh, another rocks glass, another simple rocks glass. Going to stir it down in our mixing glass. Uh, 35 mil this time of your bourbon. 35 mil there. Uh, now I want 15 mil of Galliano. I use the Galliano vanilla, not the Authentico or Lothentico, whatever you want to call it. Um, so this has just got slightly more vanilla notes in there than the normal that, but it's a herb, essentially a herbal liqueur with uh, plenty of vanilla coming through. So I'm just going 15 mil, one five that of Galliano. Then I'm going 15, one five mil of sugar syrup. 15 mil of sugar syrup. There we go. Perfect. And then it's just Angostura bitter time. But we're going slightly different Angosturas. And because it's not so old fashioned, orange bitters. Two dashes. One, two. Perfect. So all that's left to do is just ice that up. And then like the, the other three, 
Um, just going to stir this down for a couple of minutes, get the dilution through, and that'll be ready. Right, that is all nicely diluted, nicely chilled down. Again, as I've just said, you know, fresh ice if you were serving it up properly, but if you're at home, just pour it straight in there. Garnish, dehydrated orange, they just work. It just work so well and that is my not so old-fashioned so you've got hints of vanilla little subtle hint of orange oh, that is so so tasty again the old fashions kind of really open my eyes up to whiskey I'm not I wouldn't drink neat whiskey not like I do rum and brandy oh, love neat brandy um, so whiskey for me is all about different old fashions and playing about like that. For me, I genuinely love all of those. These, these three, obviously a lot easier drinking than the Boulevardier, um, but they are all so super tasty. Really, really lovely. So if you've, uh, especially you guys in the US, uh, you know, rock out your different bourbons, um, as I say, I'm just sort of discovering, I've been bartending for 25 years, my palate's slightly changing, I'm just getting into bourbon, so it's not a big uh, thing for me, it hasn't really ruled my life to, as much as rum and cognac have. Uh, so I'm just kind of playing about with that, but that is works for me, they're super tasty. So uh, let me know in the comments below, which has been your favorite, which would you try the most, or look forward to trying the most. Um, if you like this video, if you like me, give me a thumbs up. Uh, and if you don't wanna miss any of my future content, make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring the bell to get notified every time I set a new video live. And then the last thing to tell you about is my brand new, it's been up a few weeks now, uh, my Patreon just kind of relaunched it had a good look at that uh, thank you very much ben for becoming my first legend uh, so i've got three tiers in there and um, the middle one is the legend one where you get the updated cocktail book every month and then every week you get four simple serve recipes to try out but the top tier as well is all about education it's learn with stb if you're a bartender and you want to earn more money uh, check that out i'll be posting maybe one maybe two videos in there a week um, so helping bartenders earn more money, helping you guys uh, with your cocktail techniques at home, uh, pubs and bars, if you own a pub or bar and you want um, training tips for your guys, if you want customer service tips about how, if you want to make more money in your pubs and bar, drink related, lots of content like that. And then the final one is a big one, what I've done over the last few years, um, mobile bars and um, especially horse box bars or those sort of mobile bars. Uh, I've trained quite a few of those up now. So all those sort of content is coming in that top tier, but just take a look. That's me on Patreon, links in the show notes, and I will see you in the very next video.